In this Excel video, I'm going to show you how to use the Excel type function to figure out the type of data that is in each cell. Let's get started. So here I have an Excel spreadsheet with a list of student names and information. This is all fictional. None of this information is real. But as you can see, I have a mixture of text and numbers and student numbers and currency, just all sorts of information here but I want to drill down and figure out what I'm actually seeing here. So I could click here on, let's say, cell A17. I'll type equals, and I'm going to use the Excel type function. So I just type in type, and Excel tells us what it does. It returns an integer representing the data type of a value. Is it a number? Then this function will return the number one. Is it text? Then it will return two. Logical value, four, etc. So all we need to do is put in a left parenthesis and then either type the value that we want to test or often it makes more sense to just select a cell. So I'm going to select cell A16. I could click on it or I could type it either way. I should put in a right parenthesis, tap enter on the keyboard, and Excel is looking at cell A16 and has determined that it is text. I've included a little legend over here at the right where we can look and see what each of the codes means. Now, I knew that Mason was text, but some of these other cells, I'm not so clear on whether they're text or numbers or something else. So I can type that same type function and formula again here, or as you probably know, I could click on the formula that I've already entered. Here it is. And then I could use the autofill handle, the little green square in the lower right corner of the cell. I'm just going to click and hold the click and drag across my range of data. And I'll release the mouse button. So my formula got extended across the range of data. And I can easily see that these phone numbers are considered to be text, not numbers. Same with the email addresses. Same with the student numbers. But the fees are considered to be numbers. Even these fee numbers here in this column. Now, why is that interesting to me? It's interesting because this column is not made up of simply numbers. It's actually made up of formulas. You can see that here and also in the formula bar. What actually is in this cell is not a number. It's a formula. But the formula produces a number, the number 61. And so that's important to know. The Excel type function is examining the contents of a cell unless it's a formula, and then it's examining the results of the formula, not the formula itself. So Excel can tell that this cell contains results of a formula that are a number. So it marks it as type code one, number. Over here, we have a code 16. 16 is an error value. So Excel can tell that that's an error. Here we have a type code 4, a logical value, true or false. And as you can see, there are two other type codes that will come up from time to time. For example, if I click here on cell D18, I can type equals, type, left parenthesis, and I could click and drag to select an array, put in my right parenthesis, tap enter, and I get the code 64. That's an array that I selected. So I hope that you'll find ways to use the Excel type function. And I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video. You can support me through my Patreon account. You could buy channel merch. And you'll find information about those options in the description below the video. What might be the very best way for you to support the channel? would be to perhaps share this video with other people that you think might find it to be interesting or helpful. Please help spread the word about this video and my YouTube channel. Thank you. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. You help me to continue to make these videos on a regular basis. I appreciate it.